Hi guys, so today I will be showing you how to add glyphs to your fonts um, for all of your different Cricut projects. Um, I will be showing you three different ways to do it. The first way I will show you is using Adobe Illustrator, and then I will also show you using Cricut Design Space. And finally, I will show you using Inkscape, which is a free software that is very, very similar to um, Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right in. So first what I want to do is go over to my panel over on the left side and click this T, which is the text, um, the text tool. And so then I'll just drag it and type the word hello. And then I'll go back and click on my selection tool and then go over to my right side um, and then change up my font. And um, I'll just click on this star because it's my favorite fonts. And um, any fonts that I download from defont.com or if I buy any fonts, I usually um, add them to my favorites. And so I want to use the font Hello Honey. And this font is from defont.com. And so then I will just increase the size of this font. And I'll, I'll make it really big for you. And next, what we want to do is to add some glyphs. So I'll just pull this down on my screen a little bit and then go up to the type um, window and then click glyphs. And um, my font is already selected because my text box is selected right here. So automatically that um, font appears down here in this window. If it wasn't selected, I could just scroll through to find it. And so what I wanna do is I want to put um, one of these glyphs that has a heart on the end. I wanna change my O to be one of those. So I'll just double click, remove that O, and then find the O up here. And here it is, so I'll just double click on that. And you can't see it right now because my box isn't wide enough. So I will just pull this over to the right and now you can see that. And obviously, if you're using Illustrator to create your SVG files, you always want to make sure you right click and then click Create Outline. And what that does is change your text to a object or a shape. And then you can also see if I zoom in really close, um, the little lines where the letters are touching. Um, if you were to bring this into Cricut Design Space right now, um, and cut this project, it will cut each letter individually. So what we wanna do is to go over to our Pathfinder over on the right side, and then we wanna click this first icon, which is the Unite icon. And what that does is basically weld all of those letters together, and now you don't see those little um, letters touching. Everything is welded together. So that's how you add glyphs in um, Adobe Illustrator. Next, we will be moving over to Cricut Design Space. And first, what I want to do is add some text. So again, I'll type the word hello. And right now it is the Cricut Sans font and I will change it to the um, Hello Honey font, which is right here. And then I will just make that a little bit bigger on my screen. And then I want to ungroup. So I'll just leave this as it is for right now. And the next thing that I wanna do is to open up my font book. And I am using a Mac computer, so um, all of my fonts are stored in the font book. If you're using a Windows computer, you will have a character map. So going over to my font book, um, these are all of the different fonts that I have downloaded from thefont.com or purchased somewhere online. And again, I wanna use the Hello Honey font. And so what I will do is just scroll through until I find that O with the heart on the end. That's a glyph. So I'll keep scrolling. Okay, so here it is. So I'll click on that O and then click Command key. Uh, the Command key and the C, so I'll hold those down together. Um, if you're using a Windows computer, it will be Control C, so you just wanna copy if you need to, you can go up top and click the edit button and then click copy as well. Then you wanna go back over to Cricut Design Space and then click the text box again. And what you wanna do is to just paste that into that text box. 
So in the text, text box, it looks like a little square, but here you can see that O um, with the glyph at the end. So I'll just drag this to make it bigger and I'll pull it up and I want it to be about the same size as the current O, so I'll make it just a little bit bigger. And then I'll delete the O that was previously there, drag this up, and then I will select all the letters except the H and move them over. And then I will repeat the process of selecting the other letters and moving them over. And I'm using the left arrow key on my keyboard. Um, I know some people just use their mouse to pull it over, but I just like to do it this way. So it looks like everything is touching. So I will select everything and click the weld button. And everything's connected now and is welded together as you can see over here in the right panel. The last way I wanna show you is an Inkscape. And so this looks somewhat similar to Illustrator. And so over here, I will go over to the A, which is the text tool. And then I'll just drag it on my screen and then type hello. And then I'll go up and choose my selection tool. And I'll just make this a little bit bigger on my screen so that you can see it. Um, and then I will double click my text and select all of it and change the font to hello, honey. So let me scroll through and find that. Almost there. Here it is, okay. So I'll just again make that a little bit bigger. And so with um, Inkscape, what you have to do is use your um, Unicode characters. And so over here on the right, you see where it says Unicode characters. And so then I will scroll down to Hello Honey. And click it. And down here, I'll just drag this down some. I want to scroll again to find that O with the, um, with the heart on it. But what I need to do is to change, change my range to all. And then I should be able to find that. So here's the O. So I select the O and then double click it and you will see this little box pop up. So I will copy again using Command C or you can use Control C. And then I will double click, remove that O and then paste in the other O. And that's how you do it in um, Inkscape. So next what I want to do is to make sure that this is welded together so that if I bring it into Cricut Design Space, it cuts as one layer. So then I'll click the Path button and then Object to Path. So I'll select all of my text. And you can see that there are individual boxes around each letter letting you know that all of these are different letters. And then I will click the Path button and then click Union. And now it should be one um, object. So just like that, I have shown you three different ways to add glyphs to your fonts to use for all of your different Cricut projects. Thanks for watching.